I'm Elizabeth Carroll from the School of Built Environment. I teach in architecture. This particular project involves the teaching and learning for Building Science 202, which is a second year subject, where students are looking at how do you integrate building services with the design of buildings. Now in the past we've taken students on site to um, large projects to have a look at the innards of buildings. However, the sort of numbers that we now have in architecture m makes this really difficult. So in this particular project, I looked at trying to mimic that sort of experience through a virtual site visit instead of a real site visit. I first of all identified a building that would be leading edge, the um, Grove Library at Peppermint Grove and that has innovative air conditioning and water supply and it uses the water that is captured on site for the whole building. So it's a real recycling um, water project. The digital media unit from Curtin University helped by filming on site the particular consultants who were responsible for designing individual parts of this building. For example, we went to uh, what's called the maze, which is a series of stone walls in the basement of the building that help cool the building. The mechanical consultant stood in front of this maze and discussed to camera what exactly was the purpose of the maze and how it influenced the air conditioning. The video that I eventually made is about 28 minutes long but it's been captured in four segments. Each of those segments cover discrete areas in terms of services. This enables students obviously to review that part that they're really interested in. So a significant resource in terms of having enough information there for students to be able to apply what they've learnt from that into their project. And their project was a hypothetical building that was to be built on campus here. I think students still like to smell the site and you just can't really capture all of this noise and the smell of being underground or in a plant room when you do a virtual site visit. So I'm not suggesting that this is the be all and end all as a replacement for site visits. However, it's really important when you have large groups of students to get them exposed to as much construction as possible. So I think that's where its place is in the scheme of things for, for architecture and built environment people. The good things about it was the ease with which you can get into a plant room or a service area with just a handful of people as opposed to with a large group of people. That's an enormous advantage because traditionally when we have gone on site with students, many of them complain, I didn't hear a thing, I couldn't see what you were talking about, etc. So at least there's equity in terms of the sound and the visibility of what's being discussed. In general, I think it's a really worthwhile exercise. It could do with refinement, I think, to make it even better. And so, given a chance, I would love to be involved with probably a team of people who are looking at this and trying to improve the on-site experience for students in the built environment. Mm -hmm.